So for the past month or so, I've been really itching to do something more in the filmmaking side of things. I have a couple ideas that I want to do in the channel, but I figure like, you know, it would be really cool to shoot a car. I've never shot a car before, um, both photography and for film. So, you know, I thought it would be really cool. And just coincidentally, Feotech sent me the G6 Max, which is a lighter payload gimbal that holds like the uh, point and shoot cameras, cell phones, and also GoPros. So I was like, hmm, this would actually be a really cool, interesting little challenge for me. So why not share it with you guys as well? So I ended up reaching out to my buddy Manny who has a really dope Jaguar and you know talk to him about creating uh, two types of content for photo and video and kind of create like a campaign ad behind it. In this specific video we're going to go over the video uh, sequence that I created, go over the pre-production, uh, during the shoot and also post-production. So we have this really really dope Jaguar, we have this gimbal, I shot it with a GoPro and I used music from Upbeat Music which they're the sponsor of this video so that's pretty awesome but it all ties in together. Let's get to it. Okay, so by, by all means, I'm not like a super really awesome dope filmmaker, but I hope you really enjoyed that sequence. I had a ton of fun doing it. So I wanna go over a few things from the pre-production during the shoot and also post-production side of things that I hope you guys will learn something from it and take it on with you and maybe just create something as well. It doesn't matter if you have a super dope cinema camera, if you have a regular like Sony a7 III or something like that, or even a phone or GoPro. Pre-production for the shoot was a little easy, only the fact that you know I knew that Manny dresses well. He's got some swagger, right? And also his car is really, really dope. And I know what type of car we were shooting. So I wanted to find um, the location, find what kind of outfit he was gonna wear uh, and all that. So what I ended up doing was going on Pinterest first and just look up like men's styles, 2021 fashion. And then I looked up like car, like photos to see what type of car photography is out there. I mean, it was my first time shooting a car and also a car with a model. So I wanted to just get myself familiarized with all that stuff. I wanted to get myself familiarized with like those type of photos. That way I kind of know what I'm getting myself into when we're actually doing the shoe and I'm not just there like just like trying to figure it out I kind of have like pose ideas already set uh, color tones already set plus possible locations we were shooting in Philadelphia so Manny and I kept, I was texting back and forth as far as like location scouting and all that stuff so we ended up picking a spot which was really really awesome kind of secluded and it gave us enough time to uh, be able to shoot with no one really bothering us so especially with that being an expensive car like you know I just wanted to be careful with all that so as far as tools that I use for the shoot I use this little setup right here which is really cute little setup actually I have the GoPro Hero 5 I have this cheap newer ND filter this is a four stop it comes with a pack of like eight like I think it's like 4, 8, 16, 24 stops. Um, super cheap ND filters for the GoPro Hero 5 and also the Feotech G6 uh, Max, which um, it's a lighter payload and it's also really, really cute. Look how small this is. Look how look how small this is, guys. Big shout out to Feotech for sending me this to actually try out and I just figured it was like a good opportunity for me to go ahead and create that sequence with this. It's a good challenge for me and hopefully it showcases the quality of this specific gimbal with what you can do with something like this, whether it's a point shoot, an iPhone or something like a GoPro or whatever uh, action cameras that are out there. What I like about this actually has the features from the other high-end gimbals, so these do lock up. Really into creating content, you can use whatever you have and I think this is like a perfect example if like you can get yourself a, a, an affordable gimbal like this and you have a camera phone GoPro you can create some really dope stuff with it I do use heavier cameras and I have a different type of gimbal for that but if you know if, you, if all you have is a GoPro this would be like a sweet setup for you man especially get this little ND filter right here well that's cute so cute also stay tuned for the end of this video because I am going to be giving away this specific gimbal all the rules down below in the description box and also you know announcement at the end so stay tuned for that so now we're in the post-production side of things you know I've already edited the video I had the sequence already in my head all due to the fact that we plan in the very beginning you know if you have a plan you can execute it properly you kind of have it all together in editing and posting all that stuff so the main challenge was actually finding the right music and I need to give a big shout out to Upbeat Music because they are the sponsor of this video and I'm really excited about it the fact that they give you 10 tracks for free 
with the licenses, you know, if you're only pumping out like four videos a month, hey, this might be a better option for you than paying XYZ amount of money for other competitors out there. The cool thing about Uppy Music is not just for YouTubers, it's like for streamers, for podcasters, anything that you're doing when it comes to media. And these tracks aren't corny at all, guys. You can see the library that they have on their website. Uh, their premium version is also super dope and it's very affordable, guys. I was able to find a really awesome track uh, for this video and I, I, I dig it and I think it fit very well. So definitely check out Upbeat Music. I'm gonna talk about them in another video as well, kind of break down like their site and all that stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you enjoy shooting and do you choose your music before or you choose your music after creating your sequence? Let me know about that. When it comes to the gimbal giveaway, it's pretty simple. Follow me on Instagram, at Josh Luciano. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you're following Fayo Tech and make sure you leave a comment down below as the reason why you want this gimbal. It's this cute gimbal, it's a cute gimbal. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, stay awesome, stay fresh, keep creating, peace.